AL.com, thanks for joining us again. It's Edward Bowser. Mia Watkins. Yeah, her. And we're back with the Keep Up. And if you're like us, we're excited because it's movie season. It's summer, which means it's time for the summer blockbusters. And y'all know how they go. Big explosions and lame plots. Mm -hmm. But it's all good because we're sitting in the air conditioning, eating the popcorn, the nachos, and we straight. So today we're going to talk about four movies that we're excited about for this summer. Blockbusters that we can't wait to hit our screens. First up is a movie I am too excited about. It is probably illegal to be this excited about a movie. But X-Men Days of Future Past, it will be out this Friday. And this is why I am too hyped for this. It stars Hugh Jackman. We've got Patrick Stewart. Jean-Luc Picard. Yeah, if you're into the Star Trek thing. Halle Berry is going to be in it. Hopefully this time she'll actually show some emotion and not stand there like an ironing board. But we've got the cast of mutants that we love and they're going to be going back in time, jumping back and forth to save our future. These X-Men movies are always so great because not only are they faithful to the comic traditions, so common nerds like myself, we can sleep easier, but they're also very engaging, just very well written. Man, they are always a hit. Up next, we have my, I'm sure it's gonna be my new favorite movie, Maleficent. Yep. Coming to screens May 30th. I'm super excited. Yes, I understand this is a Disney movie, but I'm going. I might be an adult, but I'll be there the first day that it opens. I might be with you because this is going to be off the chain. So, for those of you who are familiar with the Disney princesses and the, the characters, Maleficent was the villain in Sleeping Beauty. She was the one who cursed Aurora with death basically all because she didn't get invited to the girls christening like how petty is that she is so petty that i'm gonna kill everybody i'm gonna burn you up as a dragon just because i didn't get the plus one invite man stop but that's still my girl but i think that this this time maleficent is going to be played by angelina jolie and it's going to give us a little bit more insight into her character and why she is the way that she is i can't wait to see it i love it when you take the villain and show the other side of the story next up is yet another comic book movie i know i know don't give me grief it's guardians of the galaxy once again another marvel feature and it features chris pratt features vin diesel zoe saldana one of those ensemble cast things and i know that even the most hardened comic book fan might not know the Guardians of the Galaxy, but Marvel has done a great job of taking these B and C list teams and making them super solid. So maybe we'll do it again. This features a group of rogue ragtag thieves who stumble across this artifact and then they turn into superheroes. Yay. Cool. But I'm telling you, this has a lot of potential and that little raccoon thing right there, parents just get ready because your children will be begging you for a little Tickle me raccoon mans for this Christmas. Trust me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's the next blockbuster. I'm wholly unfamiliar with Guardians of the Galaxy, but I have seen the preview and it looks amazing. And lastly, coming June 13th, is 22 Jump Street. Yeah, man. Super excited. So Coleman, Alabama native, Channing Tatum, along with John and Jonah Hill are back again for the sequel to 21 Jump Street, which obviously was a remake of the 80s television show and this time they're in college this time they're on spring break this time is going to be really 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 ridiculous listen i i slept on the first one and i just randomly watched it one night at my parents i was on like stars or something and it was hilarious so i'm very much looking forward to this one super excited sun's, sun's out out <laughs> Look, that trailer alone has me sick, so I know it's going to be a good time. All right, so you let us know which movies you're looking forward to this season. There are a ton out there. Your pockets will be weeping, but it'll be all for a good cause. Edward, it's Mia. We'll meet you at the movies, and thanks for keeping up with the Keep Up. Bye.